Hi and welcome, this is Kelly from Play, Learn, Talk. Today is going to be my very first teaching tutorial on showing you how to make your first boom card deck. Today we're going to make an open-ended board game set and it should be really easy, very straight to the point, and not confusing at all for you. So my goal is to make this very, very simple for you to follow along and to create something that is going to be fun for you and your students and inspire you to create more. I truly believe that play-based games are the best way to engage our students. And as you can see at my store, I have a little over 12,000 followers. So I am very honored by this. And to me, this tells me that the kind of games I'm making are truly engaging for your students. So I hope that you will love what we're making today together. And I'm gonna go show you what it looks like so you can get inspired. Now I am gonna break up these videos into smaller chunks so that in case you don't have time to take like two hours right now, you can always pace it out um, to whatever you need, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and preview what we're going to create. So here we have open-ended board games and we have three different games that we're going to be making. We have a beach ball, a sun, and then a, a whale on some waves, okay? So we'll go ahead and look at this one here. And we're gonna have four different markers or four, four different game pieces. We're also going to create text boxes that allow our students to label that they are red or they are blue. So I don't know about you, but often I have students who, when they're playing in groups, they forget what color they are. And um, this is a solution, okay? An easy solution. Now, when we're playing a board game, right, um, it can get kind of boring if we're just completing a task and moving along the board, right? But if we have some surprises along the way, like these beach balls, okay, it gets a little bit more engaging for students. So as red is moving along, they're going to encounter the beach ball and they get to put it into the center. Now there's another reason I've done this and that's because when you work with young kids, sometimes if they, not sometimes, almost all times when they do not win, they get super upset, right? Or they, they get sensitive about it. So this is my solution for that. By collecting the beach balls, Red is not gonna be the only one who collects all the beach balls, right? But whoever's playing this game, you guys are now suddenly collecting all the beach balls as a team. So when you get to the end, you can completely disregard that the winner is the one who finishes first. Maybe everybody's the winner in this case who helps collect the beach balls, okay? So if you wanna play again, we're also gonna create an option to keep playing again and again. Now, if this game is doing its job, right, as you're doing the tasks and drills, whether you're in speech therapy or occupational therapy or just in the school setting, if this game is really fun and engaging, your student's gonna wanna play again. So we wanna make sure that option is available. Hey, okay, I'm also gonna show you how to create um, a button to take you back to your main navigation page. Now, I'm not gonna show you these because they have the same setup and I want you to be surprised as we make them, okay? So go ahead and click on to the next video. I'm going to link it um, somewhere on this page and you can follow me along and we can create this board game set um, and also a spinner. Um, that'll be another surprise for you. So I look forward to seeing you in just a moment. 